Greetings, beautiful soul. Uh, um, greetings, beautiful soul. Welcome into your love reading for today. Someone could be named. Dang it! I forgot. True, the true, 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 Trudy. Oh my gosh! Okay, so what's going on? The two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You're gonna get some type of a message or some indication, some confirmation moving toward you about someone and how they're feeling. I'm feeling like someone is feeling remorseful and regretful. Someone is breaking like apart. Um, like someone is facing the truth. Someone is accepting reality. Um, someone is someone is also behind bars. I'm feeling like in some way, someone is like something like that. Um. Um, someone is maybe feeling misery, but at the same time they're freeing you. So like someone is um someone is admitting to something right now, but it's it's freeing you. It's someone is because I saw the the tower card and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, so the tower card and the ten of pentacles felt like you getting redemption by someone that was holding on in some way. So I don't know. Let's continue. Your first card is the knight of wands, so fire, passion um attraction i hear melodic right very attractive and beautiful energy you give me siren vibration even though this is fire i'm feeling like this is a wave a heat wave that is floating from off of the ocean it's not heat it's like a warm mist floating like from out of the ocean onto land here so maybe we're going to experience dry spells or someone may be experiencing dry spells but i do feel like something is something is on way toward you so this could be a person but it feels like passion and it feels like this energy of a creepy like imagine this is a movie and we can feel like something is coming from off of the ocean and we know it's the sound of a siren i was even saying melodic right so this could be someone's sound someone's voice someone's essence i feel like heat now i feel a little bit of heat it's someone maybe having certain flashbacks or heat flashes in some way, shape, or form. Well, someone is um so very, very into you right now. And that's what I'm feeling like. Someone is hot for you. This could be someone, my, I'm hearing micro, something with micro or micro family. So this could also be jealousy because what I'm seeing here is someone is really, really into you. This could be um someone with someone with some type of a fame or popularity or they have a platform they're giving you a lot of attention i get credits too and you're gonna get compliments i'm also seeing like you may see your ops come around or you may see people come around that truly admire you admire your form your figure your work of art there's also someone that is giving me an obsessed vibration in some way like they feel like they must have you gotta have you in some way like you're a treat or you're like some type of a addiction or someone's guilty pleasure someone like ex ex thank you like right on the money i don't know how but you're someone's guilty pleasure right here and this person is they're very passionate about you i feel like someone maybe i hear equally yoked <laughs> so someone maybe your twin flame like someone may be like your zing you share similar values with this person and i feel like they're trying they're coming to reach out to you yeah passionately the nine of ones i also feel like there was competition here yeah there were people that were somehow interfering with this connection now there were people that were envious of you of you and the attention that you're getting you know what i'm saying some someone was someone was saying to themselves or this could be a group of people um, why do you deserve, why are you getting all the attention? So like I'm getting bodies energy, but you are the, you are the body. I'm telling you that you, you came in the body is the vibration, but these wannabe bodies now, they are so, they're looking at you and they're thinking like, you could be like the best choice, like obviously right off of the bat, physically, financially, spiritually, mentally, every alley. So people see that you've already won, like you're already set, you're already on performance, you're already on stage, you're already getting all the attention. It's They know that you are the one to like get out of the way because you are the competition. That is how I'm feeling like people see that about you right now. Um, so they came to compete, but they see, oh, she is the challenge. She is the one I'm up against. Like imagine this is a, a, a fight for, let's say, a husband and wife, and then you have some mates. <laughs> Then you have some side girls and it's a competition. It's a game to see which girl can take the, the wife's place. So that's the energy like you, they already see that you are that 
you are that so they say all right so she is my competition he is my competition here so i'm telling you that that's around you and these people could be family or people that want to be in your family or people that want to have the family that you have whatever it is that you have um whatever that makes you beautiful you're getting a lot of attention you could be like a, an egyptian goddess or you get a lot of favors you know like men give things to you because i'm seeing this woman in like a, an, a country perhaps let's say india and men just walk up to her and give her fruits and give her beautiful things that she just sits she's just sitting there you know she's just sitting there in the middle of the street going mm, oh like she's like charming but it's just something regal and magical and men just i hear doctrines and men just go up to her and give her fruits and give her gifts and give her this and she's not giving anything you know she's just receiving so people could be like jealous that you are like a goddess that naturally receives for real like say you're the goddess of i don't know why but you just get things you get what you get you, um you get attention you get money you get your dreams fulfilled you get blessings some of you you're a grand grandmother or you get a grandmother i'm getting all right so naturally beautiful and um so let's continue the high priestess is next yeah with the grandmother energy you get great dreams too you're a prophet so so yes thank you so much thank you so very much because people could also be jealous of your natural gifts your spiritual gifts your insight right your your the things that you know and the things that you talk about right and they see that it is quite hot it is attractive and and they may think that you don't know how attractive it is or how admired it is so they try to like come at you and they think they're going to get close to you so that they can take from you because they think that you may you may not know how beautiful you are or you may not know your worth right but they had forgotten that you are also the high priestess mother that it is not just a physical competition it's not just what you see with the eyes it's also spiritual so these people are forgetting to check to not mess with you spiritually because you're going to blast them away is the energy um so this reading is quite fine <laughs> right so as the high priestess here something about your zodiac sign as well i'm getting some people wanting to study you mm -hmm. with the high priestess card beautiful soul like people want to know your history people want to study you people want to know you're like oh, come on seriously look at her she's like oh, like come on um, you could be the top athlete too, so you may be quite athletic or very smart. Like you, you, your brain may be athletic, your brain may be well used, well exercised. Um, you may be well read, well spoken, and these people like that. I'm not trying to blow up your head or anything, but these people are trying to step to you. They thought that you're like. See, come on i'm sitting all the way up here on high priestess pedestal i see i see it coming i see this coming i'm also getting like someone was trying to send someone your way right i'm um, like a target and you knew like once this person entered your courts you like by, before they entered your court you felt them outside of your gate and you know all that they were coming with because you already were reading about it okay um so look out for that and so when this person arrives with whatever BS, they come with you like, seriously, come on, like, I'm, you know, you do better than that. Um, I am the high priestess. And it's like, you just poof, 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 like blast this person away. It just feels like a poof, like a puff of wind, but it's not visible. It's, I don't know, it's like magic. Anyways, the moon card. See what I'm talking about? H hidden enemies here. Someone maybe named Grocer or Gross. I don't know what that is. All right. I hear justice. Like someone had some type of a vendetta that they thought that they were going to come around and, and take their, I hear petition, their anger out on you in some way, shape or form here. Hidden enemies here. But I feel like you are smarter because you, you already know, like, you were hiding around, you were sneaking, but you were like, you're not behind, you're like, you are the moon in essence, or you're behind the moon. You could have seen, you could have, you could see everything behind the moon energy. Like, you were there hiding in the bushes. You, you went there before, ahead of them because you know that they were planning to meet there and and do something in secret so it's like you went i don't know it's like you reread them you pre-read them in some way you pre saw it coming and you you were listening to whatever you know what their plans are is the energy the moon card right
Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you have that insight and people can't, like, trick you. But this is, like, this warning to you as well. Like, this is... They're watching you, and this is what they were thinking of coming after. Anywho, how did we get here? Because I was talking about someone that admires you and is so into you and is so passionate about you and wants to move toward you. Like this person, they, they want to choose you now. A pastor by someone may try to visit you, like I say. This person may ride a bike. They're into you. They may know something. They may know your name. I hear Polly, Polly Andrews, writing money spells, revenge, or right, someone can't take revenge upon you because something is not your fault, like someone shouldn't try to take their anger up on you, but they were trying to in some way, shape or form, alright, but let's get back to the cards, the high priest, um, the hierophant, so the Hierophant and the High Priestess is on the table. So there's someone that is fearing what you know. Someone wants to test you, right? Someone wanted to test you in some way. Because they are getting to realize that you you, you are aware of some things. Um, so they And they were kind of upset and jealous too. And so they wanted to come around and sort of test your insight, test your knowledge. To see what you know. They are going to come and do it face to face as well. But like I say. You are already prepared for this. Because you are not just tangible. You are not just here representing in the physical form. You are all. You see behind everything. Not that this thing can't make you tremble. Or quake or shake a little bit. you know. But I feel like you take a deep breath. And you ground yourself. You will also figure out how to deal with this. Because like someone wanted to throw you off balance. In some way. Here. I also feel you have secret admirers all over the place. Beautiful. It's a wand. And a lot of people just into you. Just, yeah, oh my gosh, the seven and ones. There's so many people that are just so into you. I feel you're so attractive and so on fire at this time. And some of them pretend not to watch you and give you attention. They pretend not to like you because you have this your skin is on fire too because you have this energy like even though you're so beautiful you have this energy like it's standoffish so people are also intimidated by you and triggered by you at the same time <laughs> so some of them would love to come around and smile up in your face and talk to you and flirt with you but at the same time they're like they hold back because they don't want you to burn them. They're like, no, sir, let me stay far from this one. But they would have loved to approach you and see what's on their mind and flirt with you. But they see that you're not like, no. No, they, they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to read you up to see what type of a person you are. You know, what you're into, what, what you're going to settle for if you have time to waste. Six of wands is next. Look at the amount of wands on this table. It's not huge. You, you're so hot. You're so hot. I wonder if you know, or do you have a clue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on my mind. I feel like you make your. This is like a, you have a lot of crush out here. Hermit card. A lot. Yo, you have all type of people crushing on you, in all types of ways. You have people's hearts wrung up, caught up in you, wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in you. Your essence, your natural beauty. Do you know that? It makes them so curious about you. It makes them invigorated. It makes them want to know more about you. Some of them, it confuses them because they're like, how can you be touching so deep like you're talking directly to me? And so they're like, do you know me? Should I take this personally? All these things. So you rub people. Let me tell you, you trigger people up in here. You're also triggering people and it's a blessing for you. It's a good look because this is like your work. Like this is what you were sent to do. Victory energy. Six of wands. Progress. Strive. Prosperity here. You're carrying the garland. So the gifts of your ancestors. I'm telling you, you are. You are looking so good. Yeah. You're stepping up. Pure wands. You know, look at this. And look. And another one. You have attention from. You're getting attention from people that may even think that they're bigger, better than you, richer than you. 
and they're so obsessed with you they can't explain it so sometimes it's like it makes them angry look the full card and the seven of ones because they're not even sure what is what what you're doing to them it's confusing for real oh snap what are you doing the seven of cups here i feel like you tell pure truth on people here the six of cups yeah like you are off the earth you're like divine is the energy so divine queen of cups six of cups divine mother you're very intuitive super emotionally balanced and smart gifted 